let's report a calasia. There are various signs you can look for when trying to find if your calasia needs repotting. You can see here that a lot of the soil is not protecting this anymore. Also on the other side, we can see it here too. So there is no protection here, we need to put more soil and the roots are just coming out to the top. And as you can see here, a lot of the roots are growing just around the potting mix. See right here, here, also on this side, some of the roots are outside. So this is also another sign that you can look at when trying to figure out if your plant needs repotting. I really like preferring my potting mix because it's really, it really helps me being present when I'm taking care of my plants by touching the ingredients and knowing exactly what I'm putting in the soil. So the first ingredient we're gonna get is this one right here. This is coconut coir and we're gonna put seven parts of it. Now, in order to prepare it, we want to put some water and mix it with the water. This is going to give more volume to the coconut coir and it will bring moist to it, which is really great for our calatheas. I also like to add two parts of orchid bark, then two parts of worm castings for nutrition, two parts of charcoal, and of course, two parts of pumice for drainage. You know, calatheas really like to have moist soil, so it's always very good to also add a material for drainage, and this is because it's gonna help them keep moist, but it's not gonna be super wet for them, which is really great. I'm trying to reduce my use of plastic now, so I'm gonna be using a terracotta pot. Now, just to let you know, terracotta is very porous. So the soil for your plant won't stay moist for long periods of time. And remember that calatheas like the soil to stay moist at all times. If you aren't underwater, I would recommend that you stay with plastic because this one will keep the soil moist for longer periods. But if you wanna change to terracotta, all you have to do is to water more frequently and keep checking the soil just to make sure that your plant is happy. I also always use a pot that has a drainage hole and that way I will prevent overwatering. Okay, let's start repotting. We will add a first layer of soil to the bottom and this is to give some support to the roots. We will take our plant out of the pot and massage the roots out of the soil very carefully. Try to do it like super smoothly and just slowly the way you don't damage the roots. And we will place it inside the pot like so. So I will hold my plant and add more soil like that, just to cover the roots. We want to press it a little bit so we can prevent air holes, just like so. But be very gentle so you don't damage the roots here. And add more soil. Now, as I said, this one likes the soil to be moist. So I'm going to water it a little bit just to make sure it's happy. And we did it. Thank you so much for being here with me. I think this potty mix is going to be great for my calatheas. So if you decide to use the same potty mix, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know how it goes for you. Also, if you would like to support this community and the work that I do here, we do have a Patreon page and we meet every month to talk about our plants and issues we may have with them so we can help each other out. So if you would like to join us there, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios! <laughs>